Memorial Day weekend here during Project Vandemic, and in the most wonderful way possible, we're running out of time. Things are starting to open up, and my goal of having this bus on the road running and driving before all of this is over with is starting to catch up with me. The good news is we've made a ton of progress, and I think I'm gonna be able to allocate a little bit more time than I have over the last month or so to the project, and I'm gonna set a lofty goal for this weekend. I will be knocking out some to-do list items, most notably, I wanna be done with the cooling tin. It's been a lot of fun playing around with it and seeing what I can make this kind of cheap, not so great cooling tin do. I think we've patched up a lot of stuff. In fact, just added a couple of pieces here piecemeal. Yeah, that's a little ugly. But <laughs> just to close up one final gap here. And the next thing is to put the engine back on the stand, flip it over and actually fabricate some supplemental pieces of tin that are going to take the place of the heater boxes without those heater boxes in a way it opens up a big hole and the air doesn't stay where it's supposed to and we're going to get there then we're going to know we're on the downhill side of all of this so pretty exciting stuff i'm so happy to be doing this again in the garage got the fans running it's summer it's going to be awesome i'm starting off tired but i'm going to really wear myself out now because that's how you get it done so let's get started So yeah, that's going to be a thing. <laughs> huh. This appears to be a stock tin to me, but clearly it does not fit. I'm not too sure about this one. I'm thinking that maybe that tin is from an earlier engine. Maybe some of y'all know. I mean, there's some of the aftermarket stuff that isn't made for anything, <laughs> but I think this is a stock one here. So I dug up one from a different engine to make a comparison and it kind of set me down this road of thinking, you know, okay, two different models of tin. This may be late model and it looks like it's just a little bit wider than this one. So this one would fit a whole lot better and actually do its job. If in fact this is for an early model, then to me that means it kind of has some value and I don't wanna hack it up to make it fit this engine. I also don't wanna use this tin because it's in relatively good shape. This will be for the rebuild, All right? So I've been putting stuff like this aside for a more serious engine in the probably not too distant future. So I'm gonna save that one, but I did find this. This thing looks pretty used up. It's also the stock size for this engine, I think. This needs a lot of repair, it even has some rust damage over here. I think this is an excellent candidate for replacing that tin and maybe it can find a home where it's actually needed. So this is part of the project. Also, I have the J-tubes kind of mocked up here. They're gonna be a big part of what happens next because I need something to take up this space. This is all cut out for the heater box and all the air would escape here. I really want the air to keep going that way out the back of the engine. I need to close up this space and some of y'all probably are aware there were some tins that were on the Type 181 or the Thing engines that used a gas heater and industrial engine. So there was a tin that kind of went from the head here to here and closed all of that off. Same thing over on this side, went from here here, leaving space for the J-tubes. So I need to fabricate some of those. They're actually available, but I'm just gonna make some. I've made one set before, and I have my old templates for it. I just kinda had to figure it out as I, I went, but I did find some information online. So I printed that out, and I'm gonna make a set of templates based on those dimensions, and compare them to my template that I used before, and the situation that I'm in now, and probably do some kind of a composite thing of all three. <laughs> so a little bit of fabrication to do. That's all cool. We're just gonna do a little more of this welding and fabricating sheet metal stuff before the next step.
dull bit. pretty close. This is my old template and it looks pretty close. I think I need it to be a little longer here and trim down a little bit here, but that's all right. One thing I don't really like is how abrupt this part is underneath the push rods. There's definitely going to be a little bit of air here and it kind of hits a brick wall here where it normally I think it'd be contoured a little bit. So I kind of wish this was scooped a little bit like that maybe that sure would complicate things down here uh oh i lost a part i think this is right up here right i need to put some more tape on that <laughs> all right these are the drawings that i found on the samba post i'm going to make a template based on these dimensions and we'll see how it lines up there's one thing that i believe i'll change the top is cool because that's you know that's what i've been doing i think i want this to continue down other than that i think i'm going to do the rest of this like the drawing shows so let's see what that looks like i kind of like that i like that they they got this angle in there it's just by their drawing five millimeters but I like that they got it in there. I'm gonna leave this and cut right along there. And just wrap that down along with it. Might also put some way to fasten it here. So a little flap or something. And weld a nut on the other side of this where I could fasten it here. Let's go out on our own here, go out on a limb a little bit, see if we can make something that addresses a few concerns. Kinda of like the look of that. This is my test tube, get it? <laughs> so a lot of this will get trimmed off, but this, I think I'll join it all the way down to there. I'm gonna remake this with the extra parts there. Now if only metal were as flexible as paper, I'd be all set. I think this is what we want to end up with. That's crazy, but it'll be pretty cool.
was okay with this. We're gonna fix that easy, but I should have done this bin first. Now I can't do that bin. <laughs> I might have welded it to the <laughs> to the other piece. That's cool. I think it's on pretty good. largely happy with how that went I think this will be a decent result I don't like this very much I think I'd rather put a fastener there but I'm gonna try it the, the the industrial ones supposedly don't have any way of fastening it down here just through that pressure so I'll try that I like the approach I think I want to do basically the same thing on the other side I'll use that template that I found on the Samba make a template based on those dimensions for a starting point and then probably do basically the same thing over here modify it a little bit to give me a little bit of a slope on this angle to give a little bit more room for air to come out in this area yeah i'm splitting hairs but this is fun remember this is all for fun <laughs> gonna do the same thing there have a little bit of a repair the uh the mounting hole on the sheet metal that goes here is way too big so I'm gonna patch in that piece of sheet metal right now and then we'll be able to get started with the new template and see what we can get accomplished
your starting point. Looks like when I drilled this hole, I poked a hole in the pushrod tube. That's bad. You can use another one of these here just to get the job done. You could pull the head off and replace all of them. I don't know. I'll figure out what I want to do there, but that is a no-go. I can't have a hole there. The cooling tin is done, but there's a lot more engine work left to do and we still need to do something about this yellow paint. So subscribe now and we'll see you in the next video.